Let's now see the solution for this exercise, the number guessing game. So the program needs to first think about a number between 1 and 200 and then let the user guess and the user is enough to guess once. So let's start with uh, game PL and as usual we start with uh, use user bin Perl and then use strict use warnings and just to make it nicer we also set use v510 so we are going to use you can use say so the first thing is that we need to generate a number between 1 and and uh, 200 so the random function right the run function can uh, if i just call it let's let's start with this so if i just call the run function and uh, print out the result let's run it it's called game right so it will create uh, if i run it again it will generate a file a, a number between 0 and 1 0 can be 1 not and this is like you see it's a rational number if you put here 200 then it will generate then it will generate a number between 0 and 200 so as you can see it generated a number between 0 and 200 it's still a rational number we don't care about that part, we just want to have the whole number part, the whole part, and that's using the int function then, then we can uh, create that. So the int function will take the result of this run and will uh, get rid of the uh, all the part after the dot. So all the integer, only the integer part remains. If I run this now, you will see just the integer part of the numbers. And this can be any number between 0 and 200. 0 can be, 200 not. Uh, in order to make it a bit nicer, usually it's better to put this 200. This is like a magic number, it's just in the middle of the program. Usually it's better to, to create a variable, let's say a capital N, which for mathematicians at least means something. Or you could use a different variable name or later later on you can rename the this variable but this is actually what we did jo just now moving out the magic number from the major part of the code into uh, the upper part into a variable this is one of the refactorings that uh, some people talk about which we'll talk we can talk about later but uh, the point is that you're improving the code without actually making any change to its functionality so now it, it does it still does the same generates a number between 0 and 200 and then we ask the user we print uh, please guess okay something we have to ask and then we get the number in this is the, the guess what we get we get from the user and we are reading it from the standard input and the just so be, we are uh, nice citizens we are chomping we call chomp if I can type it correctly. So we call chomp to get rid of the new line from the end of the input, even though it's not probably not necessary because we are comparing numbers. And then we can check whether the number that we got how is it related to the number that we thought about. So if the if the number if the guess is smaller than dollar n. Sorry. Wait a second. We haven't saved the actual value, so we have to. It's not dollar n is not the one that we are looking for. Dollar n is the upper limit. So the one that we are looking for should be placed here. So this is the hidden value. The hidden value is here. So what we are checking here is if the guess is less than the hidden value. then we say guess and then I can print here again if, if, we're, if I really want I just echo back to the user the guess uh, just to make clear that the user knows what she already typed in so the guess is too small and then the other opposite if the guess is bigger than the hidden value 
then we just say the opposite. So we'll say we just say guess is too big, and that's it. Uh, well, of course, we would like to check the last one, checking whether the guess is the same as the hidden value. And then we'll say we defined it. So we can now run the play the game hopefully. And it asks me to guess and I guess 34, but it's too small. Now the problem is that if I run this again it will generate a new file new name new number. So I won't really be able to play it. But we'll learn later on loops in Perl, and then we'll learn how we can take this code and improve it, so we'll be able to guess a couple of times, not only once, and then we can really turn it into a game of finding this number.